Hi everyone, this is Gavin from gavinsgadgets.com and today I'm going to do a proper audio test of the HTC U11. This is the 6 gig, 128 gig version, so plenty of storage. I'm going to sort of go through what HTC would like you to sort of use this phone with and how they'd like you to use the audio. I'm then going to test it and go through my experiences with a number of different, of different DACs. For example, this is the Dragonfly Red. I've also got the Ostel and Kern XB10 um, Aptex HD Bluetooth receiver. I'm going to compare it to the LG V20. And I've got stacks of headphones down here. And I've got a desktop Audio GD um, USB DAC amp, which I'm going to try and connect and go through with you. So let's crack on. The first things first, that in the box, you get this USB adapter. So what you do here, you plug this adapter in and when you plug that in, it will work as soon as you connect a pair of headphones. So first up, I've just plugged in. I don't know if you can see. I was just gonna hit um, cancel there, cancel. But it actually, these are the Sennheiser Momentum in-ear headphones. Now, when you use these, these sound pretty good with that headphone adapter. Why? Because these are fairly easy to drive. But what about some other headphones? So we're gonna cover off what other headphones you can use well with this particular adapter. So other headphones that worked particularly well, which I recently reviewed, are the VE Monk Plus. So these are headphones that basically, they don't go inside your ear, they just sort of fit on your ear, and they're pretty nice sort of headphones. This is quite slippery, fortunately there's a nice soft pile carpet down there. Um, you also, I tried connecting it with these Sennheiser HD598. Now these are 50 ohms, and the adapter was okay, but I still don't think it was a good pairing overall. And then these are the Sony MDR100 AAPs. These are nice, easy to drive, 32 ohms. These are excellent. These are really, really good when you use the particular adapter, which I've also put somewhere. And that is the problem when you have these adapters. You can lose them quite easy, but using this adapter with the um, HTC U11 was really good pairing. So obviously anything above 32 ohms, I think this little DAC, which has got a little um, DAC inside, is going to struggle because it's USB digital out, um, which is why you need the DAC. So anything like these, which are Bear Dynamic um, DT77 Pro, 770O Pros, they're 250 ohms, forget it, no chance. So really you want sort of in-ears, or you want sort of 32 ohm, nice easy to drive headphones. But what about, let's just say, if you connect a, and that's a USB adapter, say the Dragonfly Red. Well, I can tell you, just plugging that in and just putting any headphones into it, out of the box, um, you're just not gonna get the, enough volume out of this. You have to use a third party app like USB Audio Player Pro, and then you get a decent output, and actually it's pretty good, pretty good quality. And the same thing applies if you've got, want to use um, a um, more powerful headphone desktop USB DAC, that plugs in quite nice into that, <clears throat> and you get quite a nice sound. You do need a lot of volume if you just use the native output. If you use the USB Audio Player Pro app, it does sound quite good. But you're asking, HTC have a special pair of um, headset, high-res headphones in the box. And when you plug these in, you'll notice they have a USB connection. Just do that. You put these in your ears. They're particularly quite comfortable. Goes that way around. These fit in your ears like so. And these have, um, text one side out so you can hear what I'm saying active noise um, cancellation. So when you plug these in, 
it runs through a quick sort of blast a lot of noise around your ear and it takes a sort of model of your ear and then creates a custom sound profile which you can switch on and off and it does make a difference it's quite surprising it does make a difference and these have also active noise cancellation so something's free in the box in terms of sound quality they are a patch really on um, this either one of these headphones sennheisers momentums or the ve mark plus but they're pretty good <clears throat> They're not ultra bright, um, but they do the job in terms of noise cancelling. So actually, what HTC are trying to drive you towards is having digital out to actually have the options like noise cancellation and that sort of stuff. And on their website, you can actually get a pair of Jaybirds that do the same sort of thing, that are more upmarket, that do plug straight in and also have the active noise cancellation. But that's, that's that sort of stuff. But you, what about Bluetooth? So for Bluetooth, I've connected Pair this to here. Uh, it doesn't have the Aptex HD, but it does obviously have standard Aptex. And the Bluetooth output's pretty good. It's a nice quality, decent volume, so I was quite pleased with that. And obviously with this, you can connect like the Sennheiser HD 598s, because this little thing can drive them quite nicely. But what about the um, sort of speaker itself? What's that like? So if I um, just play this, and what I need to do is just quickly turn Bluetooth off because that is what's playing, trying to play through at the moment. So let's just play. So the sound's quite a nice sound because you've got sound coming out of both the bottom and the top and it does produce a nice sound and you can also have um, difference to music and movie mode for extra wide sort of sound. but. How does it compare to something like the V20, which has the quad DAC? Um, well, to be totally honest, you can drive 250 ohm headphones from here, no problem. You can drive 50 ohm headphones from this, no problem. The sound quality is just, through wired headphones, a different level altogether. Through Bluetooth, I think it's slightly better on Bluetooth. But what it doesn't have is what the trick that the HTC has, which is these um, where have I put them? Here we go. Using their active noise cancellation headphones that do really work well for noise cancellation. So if you want that sort of stuff, and they do sound reasonably good, they're not the best at all, but for what you're getting, they're probably one of the best inbox headphones that do noise cancellation that anybody's offering. So that's the kind of setup you've got. So if you've got any questions or anything particular, then do let me know. Um, obviously, if you're going to use third-party DAC, like the um, audio quest dragonfly red i'd probably recommend going for the black because it's it can output a higher output but this is better quality you do need to use a third party app like usb player pro overall the actual quality of the sound that comes out of this is quite nice but if you've got any questions give us a shout this is gavin from gavinsgadgets.com and catch you guys soon